another story when I, I was about 18 when I had the girlfriend and I was staying in the empty apartments at the Sydney apartments down on 10th and Pierce uh, in the parking lot of the Sydney you know these black dudes these crackheads it was like one white girl they were all crackheads they wanted me to uh, get them some weed or something I can't remember we were doing some kind of transaction I wasn't I didn't smoke crack you know what I mean I mean I have but I didn't you know what I mean I, I wasn't with that you know so it had something to do with weed so they're in a van and like uh i'm in there and like the door that they they were trying to rob me but i didn't expect it these are crackheads you know what i mean but there is like five or six of them right i don't know these motherfuckers ain't gonna rob me they know i know a dude you know that serves everybody up anyway you know even though he's the one that you know set me up at my apartment but anyway they should know better but they were desperate i guess so we pulled up and coincidentally, we're right across the street from the newbie's grandma's house. But I didn't even think about it at that time. I wasn't even a thought in my mind. That, that family, that house, I totally forgot about that house. But we're parked right across the street. And uh, we're talking about how this is going to go down. Or I think I was trying to get some weed, for, have them give me some weed. They're like, you got to give us the $20, man. I'm like, dude, I ain't giving you no $20. And then they, they were like, Fuck it, get it, get his money. And uh, uh, dude and uh, one of the dudes put his head down and started punching. And I just put my hands up, slap, slap, slap. He just, he's punching my hands. I'm like, the fuck are you doing, dude? And like, they stopped. They're like, this dude is not going to give us the money. <laughs> like, this dude's not, not a punk. This dude's, I don't know. They just stopped. They're like, well, we tried. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking. I mean. And then I just got out like, you motherfuckers, you know? Like, you know, and I walked back down to the Sydney. Like, that was crazy, too. Like, I don't know what they were thinking. So I was, that's when I was, like, 115 pounds anyway, you know what I mean? But I couldn't believe this dude put his head down, just start throwing punches, and I just got my hands up like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what are you doing? What? I mean, I was spooked. I mean, there's five or six of these people. And I don't think my door opened. I don't. I don't remember exactly, but it, they had me set up pretty good. But they, they weren't. I don't know what they were thinking. They, 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 they had a different idea about me than what they, what they uh, found out. I guess, you know. <coughs> and um, yeah, there's another story. I guess.